You know, it's, it's really been incredible. I think it, it exceeded our, our hopes in just about every way. One, there was a great attendance. And, you know, it's a big commitment for people to come down in the middle of the day and, and spend the time and not know exactly what they were going to be seeing. And so while we weren't able to show everything about where we are or, or where it's heading and exactly what it's going to look like, um, I thought we got great feedback and great reaction to um, explaining how we've taken the, the input in the survey so far and the key principles and really that is deriving the design. And has the feedback been what you expected or anticipated coming into these sessions? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I don't think there have been any real outrageous surprises. There have been a couple of interesting suggestions that we hadn't heard before and that's what's great about these things. Um, there's been a bit of a push about thinking about a ferry option to uh, getting to the stadium on a ferry and um, while that hasn't, we, it's come up a couple of times, it's been interesting that that's been a consistent idea throughout the, um, the engagement um, events. Um, you know, the, the part that I think we expected was there was a lot of passion about capacity. And I think the important part about it was that I got to explain that this isn't about comparing ourselves to another stadium and it's not about lack of ambition. It really is about trying to get that number to be the right number for this ground on this site. Um, as you mentioned, during the sessions there are uh, many factors um, relating to capacity. Can you just sort of maybe clarify mm. a little bit more about those factors? I mean, maybe the first one is that um, it is an unusual site in that we're constricted by the, sh the size and shape of the dock and the water adjacency and the, and the fact that we're really loading the site from um, Regent Road from one direction. That's unusual uh, from the sites that we would typically look at. But we believe there's great value in, in the opportunity and the, the sort of um, uh, the impressive, iconic value of being on, on this, this front door site to the city. So there is, there is some limitation physically to what we could do capacity wise. And obviously one factor as well is alignment. I think you explained the, the, the chosen um, route of, of action mm -hmm. on the alignment. Can you just sort of explain a little on that? Yeah, when we first looked at the site, uh, one concern I had was that the, the, the shape of the site would naturally lend itself to maybe fitting better in an east-west orientation of the pitch. East-west can be very problematic from the standpoint of sun angles, either in the, the, the possibility of affecting the keeper and, and getting sun in, in, in the player's eyes, but it's definitely a problem for broadcast and the shadows that it creates. And while there are a couple of buildings in the UK that do orient that way, it's not ideal. And, and traditionally, we would want to go north-south. So in the early studies, we were able to study it both ways in, in great detail. And, and we were really pleased to find that the north-south did work. The pitch fits exactly within the dock walls, which is great. And, and then we found that there was a bit of an advantage that that constriction of the site helped us get to a very, very tight bowl so that the seats are all very right on the pitch and very steep and intimate. One thing that came out of all the sessions and a, a number of fans mentioned it, that, that you get Everton. I think that was a phrase that was mm -hmm. used regularly. Um, can you just sort of elaborate on that from your perspective? <laughs> well, I feel, I feel very fortunate that people feel that. And um, it, is, it is an interesting thing. It's, 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 a, it's a unique thing to design a building that, that is so much about passion. And um, it's not just another project. And, and um, I often get very um, engaged in the history of a club that I'm working with or a team. But what's unique about this is that the, the history of Goodison is so, it's so deep and visceral that um, the first time I was at the building, I really felt that. And the idea of the, um, uh, the notion that this club really is uh, the representative of the community and the people, that's very infectious as an idea. And um, so it, it's really turned into something I've never experienced in my career that it's, I, it's, it's like being the most um, committed fan and then having the responsibility and the opportunity to think about what is our new home. And, and I think that's what people are feeling. They know that when I talk about it on social media, um, and that I talk about it a lot, that it really is, it's, it's in my blood, and it, it is much more than just a project and a piece of business for me.